The anterior fontanelle is at the 9 o'clock position and the posterior fontanelle at 3 o'clock. This is a left occipito-transverse or LOT position. The Keelan's forceps have occiput dots at the junction of the shank and handle. These should be fixed in relation to the fetal occiput, which in this case, as the position is LOT, is on the model's left. The operator brings the forceps to the perineum and lines up the occiput dots to the occiput. In an OT position, the anterior or posterior forcep can be positioned first. The operator has chosen the anterior forcep. It is placed in a direct manner. The anterior forcep is inserted gently into the vagina in the midline, onto the fetal head. When the handle is raised, the blade takes its correct position. The assistant holds the forcep in place. The posterior forcep is inserted with the blade in a horizontal position, pointing towards the fetal occiput, and then carefully glided and manoeuvred 90 degrees, introducing it along the sacral curve. The posterior blade has become the anterior handle in this demonstration. This is why the anterior forcep was applied first to allow the lock of the posterior forcep to drop onto the shank of the anterior forcep. After both blades have been applied, check that their position relative to the suture lines is correct. As mentioned, this is an LOT position, so the fetal head will require rotation in an anti-clockwise direction to OA. Asynclitism is corrected by the operator pulling the finger guard nearest the perineum towards themselves while simultaneously pushing on the opposite finger guard. This is done until the handles are aligned. In order to create space to rotate the fetus, the head is disimpacted. This is done by bringing the handles of the forceps downwards towards the operating table. Next, the operator pushes gently upwards to displace the head. The fetal head should now be one centimeter higher than its initial station. Rotation is then performed between contractions, using no more than fingertip pressure. The procedure should be abandoned if any difficulty is encountered. Check fetal position again after rotation. It is now in OA. The assistant will palpate for a contraction. When a contraction is present, apply traction in direction to follow the pelvic curve as with non-rotational forceps. Support the perineum and perform an episiotomy when the fetal head is crowning. Upon delivery of the fetal head, remove the Keelan's forceps. Finish by delivering the baby.